Hi all. Let's do an introduction to Python programming. Uh, I've got these two files here. This one just has a few simple Python scripts. That one prints out hello world. Prints it out twice. We'll pick these apart but First, I want to show you how to run them using Python. Uh, there's a couple of different ways that we can do this. Uh, you can do it on Windows. You can download Python, install it on Windows. Uh, what I'm thinking is you have probably already watched a few videos on running Python on Windows. So I thought I'd show you how to do it through a shell account. <clears throat> uh, if you go out on the web and uh, do a search for shell account, there's all types of places that you can get shell accounts. There's even free ones. Uh, a shell account is just an account on a Linux computer. Uh, uh, I go through this company here. It's uh, phpwebhosting.com. It's about $10 a month. Uh, if you prepay two years, it's $7.97 a month. Uh, I've been going through them for years. Uh, they're stable. They they seem to be a good company. Uh, lots of times if you go with free ones, they might be great. But, uh, you know, it might be some guy in the basement. Uh, they're constantly sending ads, you know, trying to get you to donate or... They're usually just a big uh, hassle. So I recommend something like this. You know, there's there's hundreds or thousands of companies that do this type of thing. Uh, to connect to that shell account, we use a small program called Putty. It's free. Uh, if you just search Yahoo for Putty, Uh, look for the one that's uh, it's this strange name here C-H-I-A-R-K that's the main place that you would download it from so here putty for Windows click on that and it downloads the file to your desktop So there's nothing to install. It just, you download this little guy here and then you start that up. So after you start this up, you have to tell it where to go. You know, what shell account, what Linux account do you want to connect to? So mine is uh, at this URL here and then you can save this so you don't have to type all this stuff in again so I save this URL under this name and then I like to go in and change a few of these settings here like if I click on connection here I like to change this to 30 so every 30 seconds it sends a signal to the shell account and that just keeps it on because if you don't use it for a while it turns itself off and it's just a big pain so and then I like to change some of the colors uh, 
normally when you start it up it starts up with a black screen you know you might like that but uh, here I go with a cursor of a vertical line and I like it to blink I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a minute and then the colors default foreground foreground would be the text uh, I go with black text and then default background background would be like the piece of paper you type on that I, I like white and then the cursor is the blinking line where you type at we'll have that black and then go back up here to session and then click save so that saves it so every time you come back to this you don't have to do all this again so just to make sure that we have it saved right we click on this that's the guy that we just saved and click load that loads it into the system here and then click open okay so it goes out to our shell account here and it wants you to enter in a username and password so my username and my password when you type it in you don't see it but it's there so and then we're logged into the shell account here this is the prompt and then we type commands on this line here you type in commands on the command line if this is greek to you you might want to go back and and watch the video i did on using uh, the the dos prompt you know, that's like a brief introduction to using the command line okay so we want to run python scripts here if we just type python here that starts python and then we could type things here we type in commands uh, you've probably watched a few videos or skim through books where they do that type of thing but I'm not going to bother with that because I don't really think that's a good way to do it it's a lot of typing you're typing the same thing over and over you know. uh, let's hold control hit D and that gets us out of that I want to show you how to put a Python script into a file and then we'll run it from that file so first thing I want to do is to create a folder okay I'm gonna type clear here C L E A R and that'll clear the screen okay first thing you don't have to do this but it just helps keeps things in the same place so M K D I R make a directory make a folder and we'll call that my Python examples you can name it anything you want okay and then we'll move into that folder you can use pwd print working directory to make sure that we're in that folder and then I'm going to use my arrow keys to go through the history and then I'll clear the screen again you don't have to clear the screen I just like to work at the top of the page okay now we're going to take these files here and install them on this shell account inside this folder okay uh, there's a couple different ways we can do that 
I'm going to show you how to use Vi. Vi is uh, a Linux uh, text editor. It's kind of like Notepad, but on a shell account. We'll start Vi, and then we have to give it a file name. We have to create a file. And we'll say uh, 01 Python. You can name it anything you want. And we'll hit enter. Okay. And then if we wanted to, we could just type this in here. But just to save some typing. I'm going to go ahead and just copy that off my notepad file. And then come back here. And then what we have to do here is we have to hit the I key. And after we hit I, that lets us enter in text. So then uh, just right click and that paste that text in. Now we have to save it. Hit the escape key. That gets you out of that I mode. Uh, shift colon. That puts a colon down here at the bottom. And then W Q. That means write the file, write the file, save it, and then quit by and hit enter. Okay, so we just created a file. If we do ls, it lists the files in that folder. We have that one file. Then we want to run it. So we have to say python and then give it a file name okay use python to run this file and hit enter and it ran the file okay so this one was real simple all we did was use the print command and printed out the text between the two uh, quotes okay this first line just says where is Python okay uh, if we come back here and we can go where is where is Python it shows us these paths and you see here the very first one is this path here this is just character that says anything after this is the path to python okay i'll go ahead and clear the screen here and we'll do two vi o2 Python. Uh, I'll copy this text here. Hit the I key and right click. It pastes the text in. I hit the escape key, hold shift, press colon, right quit, and then hit the enter key. So that created the file. So now we can run the file. And you can see this is the same thing. It just printed out that text twice. Okay, now for number three, go by 03, hit enter. Okay, now we want to grab the text here. Come back here, hit I, and then right click to paste the code in. Hit the escape key, hold shift, press colon, 
right quick and hit enter and then we run it with okay so here first we say here's Python at this path so we created a variable called X and made it equal to 1 and then we said print X so it printed the value of 1 we'll clear the screen here now we'll do 4 Get I, grab this text here, hit the escape key, right uh, colon, right quit, hit enter, then, then we'll run number four. Okay, so here's four. First we said here's the path. And now we created three variables here x y and z z would be like a total so we made x equal to one and then we said y is equal to two then we said x plus y is three put a three in the z and then we printed Z and that's how we got the 3 here okay we'll clear the screen here now we'll do 5 open the file grab the text here Uh, press I right click we'll save the file hit escape shift colon right quit hit enter and then we'll run it and here this is the same as four but first we printed out this text here your number is and you can see it's got that space that space is important that's how we got that space here and then using this uh comma here we added the total here z three to the end of the line here. okay so that's just a quick introduction to python on a linux command line uh, next video we'll do these same ones here but I'll show you how to download it and install it and run this on Windows so two different ways to run Python to start learning it uh, which way is better you know it just depends on what you like of course it's better to do it through a shell account you know a, a high-powered Linux account but if you're just getting started installing it on windows is great you know it really depends on what you want to do down the road you know if you want to do python for like web pages and things like that it's probably best if you get the hang of using a shell account okay see ya bye